Hi, welcome to session three. Today we're going to be discussing developing the walking plan and diary. Research has shown that people who make plans of action and write them down and review them each week experience greater success in meeting their goals than people who don't make written plans. Effective walking plans have many parts, including a contract for your walking goals, some form of record keeping like a diary to keep track of your walking, some self-measurement tools to check your progress, and most importantly, a clear plan for rewarding yourself as you stick to the program and reach your goals. So there are recommended steps to follow. The first step is decide how long you will commit to walking. The next step is lay out your goals and the specific steps it will take to meet them. These must be realistic and achievable. If you have been extremely limited in your activities because of pain or disability, you may have to walk five minutes at a time in your own home or around the block each day. If you're already active, you may be able to go for longer walks, perhaps for 20 minutes or more at a time on five days a week. Here's how to get started. You wanna assess yourself honestly. Start with where you are now. You may be able to start by walking 10 or 15 minutes at a time, three days a week, or you may be able to start by walking five minutes around your home. Either goal is fine if it's appropriate for you. Be realistic about your current level. You wanna state exactly how much you will do. You also wanna state when you will walk, whether you'll walk before breakfast, during your lunch break, or immediately after work, or take an evening walk with your dog. You also wanna state how often you will walk. It's usually best to contract to do something three days a week. Lastly, you wanna select a reward. You wanna determine a reward to give yourself for completing your contract. It should be something meaningful to help you celebrate a job well done. So next we'll explain what a walking diary is. So research also shows that keeping records of your weekly activity helps you make and maintain changes in your overall level of physical activity. You can be as simple or as elaborate as you want. The walking plan includes a weekly diary to help you keep track of how much you will walk so you can keep an eye on your progress. You also have room to record notes about your reactions to walking, such as what you liked, your level of comfort, or anything that made exercising difficult on a particular day. Your walking plan needs attention each week. At the end of each week, you wanna take stock of how well your walking plan program is working. For example, are you feeling less fatigued? Are you enjoying yourself more? At the end of your six week contract period, you'll have the opportunity to assess your progress and contract for another few weeks based on your new or continuing goals. So just to recap, the six steps of developing your walking plan. The first step is set goals and make a contract. The second step is keep records in a diary. The third step is use self-tests to measure your progress. Fourth step is check your plan every week. The fifth step is reward yourself. And lastly, the sixth step is making a new contract. In your Walk With Ease guide, you will have a sample contract to help you build your own contract. This sample contract will include the dates that you wish to perform your exercise, how many days per week you plan on walking, how many minutes per day you plan on walking, the amount of sessions you wanna set per week, the part of day that you plan on walking, and lastly, your reward that you plan on giving yourself for completing this program. If you have any further questions regarding this session, refer back to your Walk With Ease guide or ask your leader during your next session. Thank you.